Greetings, I'm Chaplain Charlie Warden from St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. And I'm Chaplain Larry Crabtree with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office and the Maryland State Police. Larry, we made it. <laughs> we are into 2021 Which now. is no small state. No, it is not. Of all the years I have wanted to put behind me, 2020 yes. is at the top of my list. And we felt that it was important for us, maybe for others as well, to look back on 2020 and try to glean some things out of that. And one of the things that came out of that for us is our times together. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about how that came about. Yeah, and the fact that we've been doing these videos and that it's become as popular as it has is kind of, was certainly not planned. But, you know, you, you kind of remember that back, was it March, apparently, I think is when everything kind of locked down with the COVID virus and the pandemic. And we began to realize, you know, we can't do the ride-alongs anymore that we we're so accustomed to. And, and so the connections with all those that we care so much about got very limited. And we talked together saying, man, what are we, how are we going to counteract this? What do we do? We don't, we don't want to forget us, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, but, but we thought, hey, why don't we try some videos? Because that's at least the way we can keep connected and be encouragement. And, uh, and so we kind of just jumped out in the dark and began this. And uh, it went from there. And it started with St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. And then all of a sudden, the state police were interested in that. And... And now these are shared with the entire state of Maryland. Uh, there are other agencies across the nation that are picking these up and taking advantage of these. Calvert County, I know we get those sent over there and uh, who knows where else they go. So it's kind of a surprise at how this has taken off, but it's been a fun thing to do and I hope beneficial. And if you picked up one thing over the last nine months that we've been doing these, uh, that's a tribute. Yeah. Uh, it's a tribute and, and something that is very positive for us. All right, here's the, here's the deal for today. I'm going to put you on the spot. And that is, give me two things, two positive things that you take away from 2020. Yeah, that, that's, honestly, that's not a hard question. That's, there's more than two. Um, I, in my life, I think the most difficult times also bring out the best. I think pain, difficulty, change is oftentimes a catalyst to growth. COVID, we began this thinking it was going to be something that was going to kind of pull us away from, you know, those that we're trying to minister to and care for in the sheriff's office and the state police. But what it actually has done, it's drawn us closer. It's actually given us more opportunities to be more deeply involved in a whole lot of ways. Um, through the sheriff's office. So I'm really thankful about that because it was something that it's a complete flip of what I expected to be happening. Uh, and yet here we are um, being, you know, used in a lot of different ways right now, for the sheriff's office that I'm just super thankful for. So that is a huge positive benefit. Uh, the other thing that I've gleaned from this year in particular is really how fragile life is. You know, we tend to always think that we've got this together, that we can control our life, that we've got control of what happens around us. And it takes something like a pandemic that we have absolutely no control over that changes everything. You begin to realize, hey, I don't have the control that I think I do. And it begins to show me how much I need others and how much I need my God. Obviously, that's a key for me, and I'm sure for you mm -hmm. uh, in our lives. Um, but my care for people and how much I value them has only increased this year, all because of what's been going on. And that, I think, is significant. When I think about it, I, the couple things that come to mind, the first one is you can teach an old dog new things. <laughs> um, if you would have told me this time last year that we'd be live streaming our services yeah. or we'd be doing a video like this, yeah. I would have said, well, okay, you're going to have to do it without me. I'm going to go sit on a beach somewhere. <laughs> But we didn't get the opportunity to go sit on the beach somewhere. Uh, so I think it is a lesson for me that when you need to change and adapt, that you can. Mm. And I think that's something that whether you're 25 or 65, it's an important thing to realize because if you can't adapt, you're going to shut down and that's not what we are designed to do. Right, yeah. And I think a second thing, it has made me appreciate some of the basic values that I may not have appreciated in the past. I remember sitting in an in administrator's office being told we can't go on ride-alongs anymore 
or that uh, we're not going to be able to do certain things that we've done in the past. And it really hurt, not because it, not because of what the way it was said, but because I knew what I was going to be missing. These men and women of the sheriff's department, and for you, whether it's MSP or the sheriff's office or whoever else, they're part of our family. And it's made me appreciate them even more. Yeah. And so as we look back, there were some troubling times, but I think there's some, I think I'm better because of what we have endured over the last year. That's right. And we may have a little bit more to endure in these next months that are ahead of us, but we've now proven we can, we can deal with it. And there is a lot of good that comes out of this time. So yeah, I'm thankful for it. Well, we hope that you do have the best of the new years, and we do hope that 2021 is a, is a it's whole be lot better. better. It's got Please be don't better. say that. Please don't <laughs> say that. That's like using the Q word, the quiet word. But uh, we do encourage you, as you look back on the year that's gone by, to take away some positives from it, because it will make us better, and we do hope that when and if things ever get back to what this new normal is going to be, we're going to appreciate it a lot more. Well, we hope that you have a great week. And remember, be strong and be safe. <laughs>